Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with my BYOP for January. So if you watched my Panda palette introduction, you know that I this year want to build a build your own palette together with my Panda palette as a companion palette. And as you can see, I have a lot of singles that I want to focus more on in my collection. So that's also why I wanted to do this video. So in front of you, you have majority, I think actually all of my singles plus a few palettes as you can see my panel palette is up in the corner which is modern renaissance and then i also have my little no gold palette out because i do have a shade in there that i'm going to work on in my pan those eyeshadows um and i wanted to bring that out so i can depot that shade and use it in my build your own palette um but yeah i'm just gonna start kind of going through the eyeshadows um, and we can take it from there but if, before i do so if you're new here please consider subscribing i would love to have you in the family let's just jump in to the video So before I do anything else, this is my BYOP for um, the last month in December. I made like a little palette to bring with me for Christmas. I don't think it's exactly like this because I also took in some shades out and added some in to talk about in my updates. Um, for example, like these two shades here I didn't have in my BYOP, same with this one. But majority of these shades I brought with me to Sweden um, and I did use majority of them. I think the only ones I didn't use were these two right here. But that, that is what it looks like. So I'm going to use to take out the shades that are in here and put them back in their home. So I've now put everything in their home and I think for simplicity's sake I'm just gonna kind of close a few palettes and work from a palette at a time or like a couple palettes at a time because right now I have a lot of eyeshadows out and it's just very overwhelming. So I'm gonna just reorganize and then I'm gonna start building my own palette. So I want to start by adding in the eyeshadow from the Natasha Denona Gold palette because like I said it is in my Panda's eyeshadows. Uh, so this is what the eyeshadow looks like. Uh, it's this one right here, so I'm going to take that one out and add it into my palette. So there we have the first eyeshadow. I have another eyeshadow actually that is in my Panos eyeshadow, which is one of my Cleon eyeshadows. And that shade is Weld, which is this one right up here. So I'm going to take that one out too and add that into my palette. So there we go, those are my two panels eyeshadows that need to be in the palette. Let's now start building around them. So since I have Weld, which is this beautiful um, multi-chrome, I don't know how you can pick it up on camera. Maybe you can pick it up a bit better today because there is a bit of sunlight coming in. When I filmed my panels eyeshadows update, it was um, very dark and rainy, but maybe you can see the shift there. But it goes from like a pinky tone, like a mauve tone, to a green and it's absolutely stunning. But I do want to add in some greens to go with that because I don't obviously have any greens in my Panda palette but I do have those pink tones. I'm thinking if I want to add in any more Cleona eyeshadows, I think I might want to add in maybe one or two just to go with that kind of green. One eyeshadow that I want to play with that is relatively new that I picked up in my last order is the shade Embroidery which is one of their hybrid multi-chromes and it's a beautiful green and it has like a blue shift to it too and I think this will go really well with Weld and it's also a night a shade that I think will go well with some of the greens that I add in. So that's going to be the first one that I add in. Um, I also want to add in one of the iridescent shades. Um, I might actually go for this one here, which is one of the, I think, glitter ones. Yeah, this is what is in Glint, which I know is like one of the kind of more um, yellowy toned, greenish blues shifts. And I think this will, will go well as well. I think that's it for Cleona eyeshadows and I have a really nice kind of top row there. So now I want to move into more of my circle eyeshadows. One thing I want to go through as well is what shadows in my Panda palette that I want to focus on this month. I wanted to focus more on these pink tones but uh, since I have some greens and golds I think the more yellow tones and more orange tones will be something that's good to focus on. But I do also want to add in some pinks to go with these. But I'm going to start with complementary shade for these golds and yellows. Um, although I already have the greens like I said. But I want to add in maybe some matte greens to kind of build on top of that. And then maybe like one or two more shimmers um, that are very kind of sparkly to build with that. And then I think the rest of the palette will go with these more pink tones. 
One of the eyeshadows that I know that I want to add in because it goes with like the yellow tones but also the greens is this one right here which is from Glam Shop and this is in the shade Kwasnik. Kwasnik? I can't pronounce it but it's, it, it's Polish but I think it means acidic or something like that, acid maybe. Uh, but this is the first eyeshadow I want to add in. That is one of the mattes that I want to complement this palette because I feel like this would go nice with, for example, golden ochre and also the greens that I'm adding in. I also want to add some more kind of neutral kind of greens and I think this shade here will be perfect because it's like a deep, um, very kind of almost cool tone green and this one comes from Sydney Grace and is in the shade Key Lime so this one is going to go in as well and I think this will complement um, well really well um, because it is like a deeper shade and I think it will be perfect to deepen up that eyeshadow uh, so that's going to come in as well I think I want maybe one more green matte um, to add in and then I think I'm going to focus on more of the pinks and maybe like one or two golds I think one of the shadows that I want to add in that's like one of the sparkly ones is this one right here which comes from Terra Moons and this one is in the shade uh, Cassium uh, I think it is which is like a more cool tone gold which I think is going to go really well with the shadows that I put in and it's also more kind of winter appropriate so I'm going to pick this one then for the last green I'm actually going to pick one from my Colourpop palette which is this one right here uh, these are the potter from my uh, Just My Luck and My Mint To Be palette and I think one of these will be good. I think this one here would be perfect uh, because it's more again of a neutral green um, compared to this one which is very yellow toned. But this one is in uh, the shade Kiss My Hass which I think will be perfect. So I'm going to add this in as my last green. Okay so we have some good base when it comes to the um, kind of gold yellows and greens I think. So let's move on to build on top of those pink tones um, and the mauve tones. Um, I do have a focus palette I think for this month that is going to be more mauve tones so I don't have to add too many mauve toned mattes but I want to have some special shapes to build on top of that to have in my build my own palette this month uh, just to make it easier to work on those eyeshadows. I think one eyeshadow from this palette which I put to the side before that I'm going to add in is one of these hollow eyeshadows right here because I feel like um, they're very prissy and I don't really reach for them very often and I think um, this will be a good opportunity to add it in and I think this will go well with like the pink tones like I said in this palette and it's still pretty neutral and that is this shade right here this is called Hollow Na Sieplo um, I don't know what it's called in English but this is actually that I'm adding in Another one from that palette that I want to add in is this eyeshadow right here. It's mainly just a glitter topper. Um, by the way, I will swatch everything out later on so you can see what it looks like. But this one has like a pinky base, but it has like a bluish greenish shift. And I think it will tie some of the eyeshadows that I'm working on together. So I think this one is a great one to add in. So the rest that I want to add in now are the pink tones because I don't have any pink tones in yet. Um, so I'm looking at what I want to add in. Um, like I said, I think mainly the ones I add in is going to be more special shapes, but I think this one is calling my name right here, which is from uh, Terra Moons again. This one is in the shade Crimson Eclipse, which is like a pink base with a gold uh, shift in it, and I think this one is going to be a beautiful eyeshadow to work on. And I think that palette is full now, um, but I think I have to rearrange to tie my own eyeshadow in. I think I can do that. So let me just see if I can rearrange this eyeshadow palette and um, see if I can fit more eyeshadows in. Okay, so there you have my rearranged palette. I think I managed to maybe be able to squeeze one more eyeshadow in. It might be a tight squeeze, but we're gonna try. Because it would be really nice if you can fit one more kind of regular shaped eyeshadow in there. Because I want to add one of my special kind of um, pinky tones in. Um, actually, I might even go for a Cleon eyeshadow just to make sure that I fit. And also because I know I have some really nice sparkly pinky toned eyeshadows. So let me go and look at what I have and I'll choose one of those. Okay, so that should have decided to go with this one right here, which is one of their Glitter Motor Chrome's Edition Engrave. I think this one gives more of a difference in the palette because this one is more of a warm tone kind of pink, and this one is more of a cool toned kind of pink, if you can get it in the palette. But that is what that eyeshadow looks like, and I think with that, I am pretty happy with what the palette looks like. So yeah, that is going to be my focus palette for the month of January. I think it's really nice kind of green pinky tone palette and I'm really happy with it. I know it's very shimmer heavy but I know that I'm going to get the pinks um, shimmers from my Pana palette. 
and uh, also like in my companion posts and things like that. I also realize now that I have my Mandalorian the Child palette as my product level up palette and I think that would go really well with these greens as well. I didn't even think of that but um, that, yeah, I just realized that now so that is a good thing. But let me clear out all the palettes here and I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this out for you. So there you have my focus palette uh, for January. Uh, I did put my ring light on now just to make sure it shows better because I'm not sure if the lighting is better with or without the ring light. But that is what the palette looks like. Um, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm trying to shift it around to see if you can see some of the shifts in that eyeshadow, but I'm not sure. But I will um, swatch this out for you so you can see what the palette looks like. focus palette for the month of January. I'm really really happy with how this turned out. I know it's very shimmer heavy but that's what my focus palette is going to be like majority of the time because I my Panna palette is an all matte palette uh, in the exception of a two to three shades because antique bronze is more of a satin which works more like a matte for me. So it's very very matte heavy that palette and that's why I wanted to add in so many shimmers. But this is what my focus palette looks like and I'm really really happy with it. Um, I think this is going to be a beautiful palette to work on in the month of January. And uh, yeah that is it for today. If you did like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, I know the filming of this video probably isn't ideal but I'm going to move in about a week and a half time and I think from next month I'm going to have an easier time filming at a better place. I'm hopeful at least. So um, hopefully the setup will be better next time because I'm currently sitting on the floor and this is my living room table which is very low uh, so it's very uncomfortable sitting here filming this and it's not the best setup but I think um, in the new flat I'm gonna have a better setup because we're gonna have a kitchen table. I mean we do have a kitchen table now but that also doubles as my uh, work desk so I can't film there um, but yeah. Hopefully next month I will have a better setup filming, but um, that is it for today. If you have any feedback on this video, please let me know down below. Otherwise, I will catch you in my next one. Bye guys.